This week's episode of Fly Rod Chronicles is all about getting women involved in fly fishing. We head over to North Marion High School to meet up with Ashley Anderson and Julie Barr from the West Virginia DNR to give a presentation on their initiative, Becoming an Outdoor Woman. After that, we let the kids cast the fly rod to win some prizes. Following the presentation, we take West Virginia Educator of the Year, Superintendent Dr. Donna Heston, Principal Kristen Duvall, as well as current Miss West Virginia, Elizabeth Lynch, to stay the night at Canaine Valley State Park. The next morning, it's nothing but business as these women are determined to catch their first fish on a fly rod. Stick around, this show is full of good food, good drinks, amazing people, and tons of fish. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Thank you guys, thank you very much. It is so good to be back here. Last year was so much fun. Um, if you didn't get to hear my story last year, um, you know, I feel like sometimes I got the greatest job in the world. I get to talk about the greatest state in the world and that's West Virginia. You know, West Virginia, we have the greatest playground, outdoor playground in the world. And I get to promote our great state and um, and you know we're here because of your principal and we're going to take her and your superintendent fishing and right now we're, we're on national television and, and you guys are going to get to see the show so um, let's cheer on your principal and, and, and hope that she catches a lot of fish on this show. <laughs> Are we ready to have some fun? Are we ready to win some prizes? Perfect. How excited are you? How excited are we to win some prizes? All right, so I'm going to explain a little bit about how this game is going to go. So you're going to stand at the half court line and we're gonna get you this fly rod over here, and if you can cast and hit one of the fish, you claim the prize behind the fish. So did you enjoy our kids? Hey, they were amazing. Uh, you, you, you must, you must threaten them, huh? <laughs> I don't threaten them. They're excited because you know you left a really good impression last year, and they were pumped to have you back. Yeah, yeah. And look here at Muriel's. <clears throat> I, I see they're voted West Virginia Living Best Italian Restaurant in the State. Best Italian restaurant, best student body. <laughs> I, think, I think North Marion's got that. <laughs> yeah. What about best fisherman? Curtis Fleming. No, uh, uh, we're, we're gonna change. Oh yeah. All right, I like to be number one. Yeah. Which I mean, your wife. She, I think, I have to be number two. We're gonna put some pressure on you. I, I think so. Yeah. I don't like to lose. I know. I can, I know. I heard that about you. <laughs> uh huh. Gosh, 
gosh, that's, there's, a, there's a lot that makes uh, murals and restaurants special. Um, we've uh, uh, purchased the restaurant about 16 months ago. Been in business for 50, going on 54 years uh, uh, from the, the mural family. And uh, murals is an institution in, in Fairmont, I think, uh, for many, many years. Serve lots of meals, uh, lots of celebrations, uh, and, and, and always delivering top quality hospitality. Uh, for me, it was nice to come back uh, to Mural's Restaurant because I got my start at Mural's Restaurant. First job uh, at 16 years old uh, in high school. So coming back around uh, to be the new proprietor uh, has been a, a real pleasure and, and, a, and a blessing all at the same time. So we're happy to be here and look forward to serving many more uh, guests uh, for years to come. In the 124-year history of the city of Fairmont, it was chartered February 18th, 1899. I am the first woman that has the privilege of serving the city of Fairmont as its mayor. And that there's possibility, representation, that's just as important in outdoor sports, fishing. You're going to see more leadership and women everywhere. All right, an incredible lunch at Muriel's. Now we're headed up to Canaan and uh, fish tomorrow. All right, we're back in Thomas, West Virginia. We're up here and we're checking out the Mountain State Brewery. And in the background, Brian Arnett, our good friend, he's given our guest here a tour. And uh, you know, anytime we can get up here and, uh, and, and, and hook up with Brian, it's, it, it's always a lot of fun. So uh, we always look forward to this. Man. Let me tell you what, you saved me by dropping me that pin on trout routes because I got out here, lost cell service, and I tried to refresh my GPS. It wouldn't give me directions. So I pulled up, I had saved the, the stream here offline. And so I pulled up the map and I just kept waiting to see when I would get close to the pin you dropped me and I knew I, where to pull in. Otherwise, I might be in Maryland right now. I don't know. But what we're going to do right now is, is just go over a little casting demonstration. So, so they're looking for a couple professionals and they're, they're getting Charlie and Tim to, to, to teach you guys um, a little bit of casting. So. so what we're predominantly going to be using today is what's called a roll cast. So roll cast, we're using our elbow, this grip on our, on our rod right here, we like to have our thumb. I use my thumb on top because I'm using that as my pointer. Anytime I'm trying to cast, I'm using that thumb. If I see my thumbnail traveling in that direction, the rod and everything's gonna be moving that way. If we bring it back, you'll see the line. If we start to form a little bit of a loop, that line starts coming behind us, okay? Out in front, we're gonna pull it up slow, makes that loop. From this point, it's one nice push straight out and then we let the rod tip come down and we finish. We want the rod tip pretty close to being level or down towards the water, okay? Oh my gosh! I had a girl! Yes! What do I do? What do I do? For real, real. <laughs> real, real <laughs> okay, okay, bring it to you. You're doing better than me. Okay. Don't reel anymore. Oh my there God. There you go. Donna. <laughs> you, you did it. Yes. You did it. You did it. Atta girl. Your first fish. Oh, no. That's a good one too. Look at that one. How beautiful is that? How cool.
and you've never caught a fish. I've wanted to experience this for years. I've been reading about fishing for years um, and trying to find something that my students would be interested in um, and touch them the way Hemingway and McLean has touched me and the way watching you has. It's just this is more than I ever imagined it would be. Well. I'm tickled that I finally got to do it. Well, you're going to do it. Words. You're going to do it a lot more yeah, here. So good. let me give you the rod. Keep going. Keep Deal. going. Good Thank job. You. Good Thank job. You. Okay. Yeah, tip up. Oh no 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 no. Other way. Other way. Other way. Okay. There you go. All right. There you go. There you go. Keep that rod tip up. Good. Good. Swing it back into the right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, hold on. That's good. Enough. Right there. There you go. Go ahead and feed me like out some line. That a girl. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So why are you taking your rod down to your hip? I'm not sure. Put it right in. I'm not sure. So stick it out here. There you go. Now, now take, that's it. Nice! Yes. You got a double! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, Elizabeth! Oh, man, nice. that, that Elizabeth. means a lot, Tim. Oh my that's... gosh, Elizabeth, come here! We got a double! The fish are good and healthy, and I, once you guys wet your hands and, and put them back in there, they're gonna they're gonna take off. So. Oh, we're gonna do a double release. Yeah, yeah. I thought that this was probably one of the coolest experiences, not just as Miss West Virginia, but as Elizabeth Lynch as well. I've been fishing my whole life, but not something like this. Um, I've always thought that fishing was just a very stagnant kind of sport, but this, this is not at all. I love how engaged you get to be and how active you get to be while doing it. Um, and I think that this is a really great opportunity, not just for me, but for other women across West Virginia as well. So the real big message that I'd love people to take away from this show as a woman, I feel like we tend to really put ourselves in these little boxes in the sense that we think that we have to be just a girly girl or just an outdoors woman or just a student or just a scientist, whatever it may be, but that's not the case. I'm allowed to be Miss West Virginia and also get my hands dirty. So as a woman in West Virginia, make sure that you're also doing all the things that you love, including being that outdoors woman. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm really in the wrong way. Oh. To you? Real, 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 real. Oh my lord. Swing it back toward me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep going. Yes. <laughs> Heck yes. Oh my gosh. I don't want to go down. Oh. That is awesome. Real, real, real. I'm reeling. I know it's with a golden one, isn't it? That's good, that's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're good, you're good. You got it, Cole. I think everybody needs to experience this. Um, I'm excited to get more students out and aware of the opportunities that they have in West Virginia. Right here. Um, yeah, I, today was, I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, you know, you read about it um, and you think about it and apply it to life, fishing, um, but to actually experience it, uh, I think every student needs to have that opportunity. Every staff member needs to have that opportunity. Um, I think we're a little too humble about what we've got here in West Virginia. And um, if we can have any opportunity to spread that, um, that's on us. Well, I think too, in so many, with so many things, not just fishing, you know, I'm, I don't fish, I'm not a fisherman, I don't fly fish, and so if someone would have invited me to come fly fishing, I probably would have declined because I, it, it's out of my comfort zone, I have no knowledge of how to do it, 
Um, but once I got out on the water with Curtis and the guys and, and had minimal instruction, it, I, I was amazed at, at how easy it was to pick up and how enjoyable it was. So uh, definitely a, a, a sport and an a opportunity that we have in our state that we should, like, uh, like Dr. Huston said, we should, we should publicize it to our staff, to our students, and we should get them out and let them experience it. Canine Valley is located in Tucker County, West Virginia. Tucker County is over 51% public land, so there's just always something to do if you like to be outside. So here at Canaan, we have 160 rooms. We have 23 cabins. Uh, we have a campground. We've just renovated and added 23 new sites to our campground. So we have things to do all four seasons here. We have a ski resort. In the winter, we have ice skating. We have two park. So there's stuff to do in the winter. And then in the summer, we have a golf course. We have, um, of course, like I said, fishing and trout stocking all nearby. So there's always something to do no matter what time of year you're here. And it's just an exciting place to be. That the walls don't talk. I don't know what I'd say if I had to explain how I ended up. So my So deep, but the more I confess, the harder it gets to see. So, you know, another event, and I want to thank you for letting me bring the ladies up to your place. So, the West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, I mean, you know, that, that's what they're pushing is, is you know, uh, fly fishing is the fastest outdoor growing sport, and, and they're getting women into the outdoors. Um, you know, it was cool to see them get behind what's going on here. You know, West Virginia DNR is really doing a great job of promoting the state and improving for the capacity of what's coming because we have a lot to give and DNR seems like they're headed in a phenomenal direction. I, I like where they're headed. Definitely am happy with what I see. So another good show. It seems like when we get together we, we always do something cool, huh? We do. I think yeah. this one um, we made a couple fishermen. We did, didn't we? I think uh, Kristen and uh, Donna, yeah. are, um, they got the bug. They, do. they were yeah. screaming on the river. I think they're sold on fly fishing. I think they're going to go back and put their uh, fishing stickers on their cars, and those kids in the parking lots will notice. Yeah. Um, I think some of those kids had an interest in it, too. Yeah. It's good to see. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for being part of this. Appreciate Thank you. It. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You, you actually got to sneak out and fish a little bit, didn't I did. You? I did. I the, snuck out. So we need to document that because you don't get to do that very much, do you? I, I do not get to do it. I don't know how much we need to document it, but... We, you want to go back and erase it and go to your boss and say, you know, we, we need to get Brian out fishing a little more. Yeah, okay. you know, I think I work hard enough. Maybe I get a we little, know more, you work hard little more time on the river wouldn't hurt. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it.